Sean's View Entertainment always follows the latest news, rumors, headlines, updates, and developments. There is rumors that the backstage feeling in WWE coming out of Raw is this. The company is really, truly going out of their way to present as much change and make Raw as dynamic and interesting as possible. Obviously, this these last couple of Raws has been better than what we've been getting the last several months, maybe even, some may say, several years. Uh, there is rumors that the WWE is once again giving the hook to people to keep them tuned into the show and give fans a reason to tune in the next week to see what the WWE is cooking, to see what they're concocting, so to speak. WWE is listening to its fans and is literally pulling out all the stops to please the WWE universe. One insider said WWE has hit that famous reset button, but has put it in drive and are really revving up the engines in the entertainment department. Fans wanted fresh matches, new scenarios and situations involving drama. WWE fans wanted to see WWE from a different perspective to see what they were really all about, to see if the WWE could wake up again. WWE fans wanted to see new superstars. They are getting what many fans have wanted for a long time now. But the question on everyone's mind is, why did it take this long? Well, without John Cena, without Randy Orton, with all these injuries piling up, with all these injuries stacking up, the WWE had no other alternative. The WWE had to switch. The WWE had to change. The WWE had to take chances. And we've been asking. We have been telling. We have been moaning. We have been complaining. We have been pissing. We have been opinionated about what needs to change. How they need to switch it up. How they need to just hit that green button and go. And go, go, go. The WWE is. You have Bray Wyatt and Roman Reigns on the same team, on the same time, on the same side on Raw tonight. Sami Zayn versus AJ Styles. Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson debuted on Monday Night Raw. I mean, you had Apollo Crews. Uh, we got a glimpse of uh, what the League of Nations are all about when they attacked Roman Reigns, but then the Wyatt family came out. I mean, th just so many different. This Raw, it, you know, it, it's a whole different feeling. It's a whole different change, but it's change that is good. It's building up momentum, and it's... WWE, really, I mean, ever since WrestleMania, and WrestleMania, in my opinion, was, was worth a watch. I mean, some people said it was worth the trash. It wasn't worth the money. It wasn't worth this. It wasn't worth that. Bottom line is WrestleMania was what it was. It was WrestleMania, and the WWE, knowing what they were dealt with, knowing the circumstances, knowing um, how the... The deck, was, the deck was stacked against the WWE to produce. But now the WWE is producing. Um, and it's coming off good. It's it's something that you you get interested in. It's it's something that makes you get that feeling again as a wrestling fan when you're growing up. Because I haven't had this feeling. I haven't had these goosebumps. I haven't had this anticipation in a very, very long time. And whether or not this rumor stands, whether or not this is what's happening, no matter what, if this is the feeling, I got to say the WWE, my hat's off. They're doing a hell of a job with Monday Night Raw. And, you know, as long as they're having this, give us this idea, give us this scenario, uh, making us believe that Shane McMahon is running things, well, then Shane McMahon is doing a hell of a lot better than anyone could ever give him credit for. Your comments, your opinions, subscribe, and thank you for watching The Brash. Don't harass Sean's View Entertainment. Thank you for watching.